Why my department? You have one of the best arrest records in CID. Over 90%. That's quite an achievement. My men work very hard here. When are you going to finish fixing that smoke detector? Uh, soon. Soon. For all these, the aircon is down too. You're not warm? Mm, not at all. So what are you going to write about? I'd like to interview your officers. Find out a little bit about their lives, what makes them tick, their background, the human side of these officers. And how much do you intend to write? Well, we are doing a special feature on CID in next month's issue. My editor wants me to write up as much as I can. All right. I can interview my officers. They'd have nothing much to do this week anyway. Thanks. For starters, can I ask you a question? What's the secret of your success? <laughs> what secret? To run a successful organization, you need two things. Good men and good luck. Can I quote you on that? Be my guest. Well, thanks for letting me speak to your guys. No problem. You'll take their minds off this heat. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. You better watch your head around here. Yeah, yeah, this is how we found out. Mike, Alan, sir, so, this is Inspector Mike Chin. Hi, Sergeant Alan Leong. Hi, hi. You guys are going to be on police life, so don't say anything you'll regret. They'll show you around. Yes, sir. Your ASP spoke very highly of two of you. <laughs> they did. You want to talk somewhere else? Um, yes, fine. Don't feel warmer. No, you're not. Um, I presume this is not your typical day oh, in CIE. You sit here. <laughs> you sit here. Hey, psst. Why? Yeah, the fat guy got drunk. He yelled at the customer and disturbing the waitresses. Took five guys to calm him down, you know. What about the skinny guy? Oh, he's the owner. He wants to press charges. You're no. not feeling warm? No, at all. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Lisa. Oh, hi. I'm Corporal Halim. I'm a writer for Police Life and I'm doing a write-up on um, CID officers. Maybe later I can talk to you. Sure, sure. But you better ask my inspector for permission first. She's a very fierce woman. I'll see you later. Okay. Okay, see you. So let's get to work. You two are partners. Yeah, but uh, not by choice. <laughs> <laughs> so when did you two meet? When? Uh, oh, feels like 10 years ago, boy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Tell me, Sergeant Long, what do your friends usually call you? Uh, Alan, sir. That's a nice name. And you know what? You can drop that sir once in a while. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> you get used to it. Uh, back then, the office was uh, much smaller. He was uh, much skinnier then, too. But now, someone's feeding him. Uh, I spare tire. Hey, are you sure spare tire now? <laughs> Who's feeding you? Uh, my fiance. You're going to get married. Oh, congratulations. So, what's it like working with a younger partner? Uh, you better watch what you say. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, when I first met him, I thought, well, uh, some young yaya officer. That's uh, what he thought. Uh. Yeah, but after getting to know him, I realized actually he's a. Uh, Young Yaya officer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, okay, no, no. Actually, seriously, Inspector Chin is quite sad, lah. Actually, quite garang, you know. You should see some of the stunts he's pulled. Give <laughs> me some examples. Uh, like the time the hypnotist case. Oh. Yeah, man. <laughs> Inside. 
Yeah, that's not as bad as the eight k's again. Okay? Oh yeah, the one you cannot wet, right? Now that was pain. Where's the best chakriti in Singapore? I don't forget. Literally, for an old bird, he flies pretty fast. You put him behind wheels, he drives like Jackie Chan. Certainly gone through a lot. Yeah, the job's real tough, but having a partner like Alan makes it more bearable. Remember the time we played cowboys? Woo! <laughs> 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 well, uh, we're a team, lah. Uh, but actually, this hand slapping thing, uh, I learned from him. <laughs> Typical day in CID. Why are you always this free? Uh, today is one of those days where nobody's going around killing anybody. Thank God. So who are you meeting now? You want to write about major crimes? You gotta write about this guy. He's a character. He's another inspector? Uh, no, but he's pretty good at what he does. In fact, if not for him, we wouldn't have solved many of our cases. Who is this guy? He's a character. <laughs> Dr. Sue. Uh, this is Lisa from Police Life magazine. Hi. Nice to meet you. I heard you're going to write about me and Police Life. Well, I wouldn't stand for anything less than a footnote. Told you. Come in. He spoke very highly of you. He did? Mm -hmm. Must be the heat. He also said that most of their major clues come from this place. He's right. I'd like to think of this place as a sanctuary. Doesn't matter what race or religion you are, if you're dead, you're welcome here. Really? They may have lost their voices, but they still have stories to tell. And I'm just the interpreter for the police. So, what story does this one tell? Ah, this one. This one is saying, it's all right to lose your temper, but you don't have to lose your head. Oh! <laughs> Relax, it's a fake. I use it to get some laughs from the new police recruits. These people don't laugh much. All right, you want a story? I can give you one that takes 10 years to tell. 10 years? Someone buried the body in Bukitima Reserve. 10 years later, they dug it up. These tell us foul play was involved. These are chicken bones. Get it? Foul chicken? What's that, boy? It's a breast implant. It's a what plant? You know those bones, the smaller fragments you found at the nature reserve? The ones that didn't seem to fit anywhere? Yeah. I did some tests. These were bones belonging to a fetus. Whoa. 
Now I got two murders on my hands. Mabel Tan was five months pregnant. It's amazing. Of course, sometimes you don't just get bones. Why would anyone want to steal a liver? According to Hannibal Lecter, the human liver goes well with a bottle of Chianti. Don't you watch the movies? The Silence of the Lambs. Are you finished? Not as much as this guy. But whoever killed him knew his way inside the human body. That's incredible. What about this one? It this one. It is a real body, right? This one is very real. And I think you will find it very interesting. They brought it in a couple of hours ago. She's about in her late 60s. Police thinks that she fell into the sea and drowned. Accidental death. You don't think so? I made an x-ray of her chest. Notice the broken ribs? Yes. Her ribs are broken symmetrically on either side. So? You don't get broken ribs from drowning like this. No. I think someone must have put something on her chest. Something large. Something heavy. And because there's no puncture wounds on her chest, something smooth as well. Something large, heavy, and smooth? Buttocks. Excuse me? Buttocks. The killer sat on her chest. You mark my words. The police will be catching a man weighing about 90 kilos and who has a pair of large and smooth buttocks. This is reported for Police Life magazine. Yeah, I heard ASP yeah. Pong told me about it. Yeah. So if you all have a say on police work, you better rush up to the conference room now. Now, unless you want Harlem to steal the spotlight. Oh no, I'm not going to. Hey! Yeah? What's that for? You can resist. <laughs> so, your advice? Yeah, that's right. How does your fiancé feel about you, you know, seeing all these prostitutes every day? She's very understanding. In fact, she knows it's just a job. The problem is, she's worried about my inspector. That would be Inspector Elaine Tay. Yeah, she's quite solid, you know. But sometimes very fierce. How so? The first time I met her, I don't think she was very friendly. <laughs> I just thought it might be a bit awkward for the victim to talk to a male officer. And since Corporal Harlan is new to rape cases... Look, when you first started out in the rape division, you were just as new. Come on, he can learn a few things from you. It'd be a pleasure learning from you. There you are. And he learns fast. Right. There's plenty of Kleenex in the car. Sadie. Even fiercer with the crooks. Once she catch the uh, bad guy, I didn't touch her. Just answer the question. I really didn't do it. Go and ask Yvonne. Ask her if I'm the one who beat her up. Hey, she's in the hospital right now, okay? Unconscious. Tell me. Where do you normally My go? My inspector, from? if she don't frown too much, she's quite solid, you know.
wonder, Inspector Mike. Crazy about her. Really? Mm-hmm. Anyway, don't get a wrong impression about uh, Inspector Tay not liking me. Actually, she does, you know. Don't tell me you're actually thinking of quitting the force, Harlan. I did promise her when she needed me, I'll be there. Besides, I'm always making mistakes. You always say I'm in your way. Who would miss me here if I'm gone? Harlan? Yes? I would. Would what? I'll miss you. My inspector have problem in expressing herself. Helen! Uh, sorry, I didn't say anything bad about you. I swear. I don't know what you're babbling about. The ASP pound wants you in a gents. Excuse me? There is a python inside. Almost blew on a guy. This is a job for Cobra Halim. Ma'am, how did the python get in the toilet? Hey, Marky? How I know? <laughs> Probably sort of dream pants or something. But what is the python going to do with you? This guy? He talks to reptiles, right? Yeah. You all better stay here. This could be dangerous. Go, go, go. See you. Thank goodness you're here. What happened, ma'am? One of the workmen, he was doing his business and before he knew what happened, the snake nearly got his business. Is he hurt? No, he's just traumatized. Okay, hold a second. father was an officer. I think I could, like, cite the penal code before I could smell. <laughs> Do you ever feel the pressure having to live up to your father? Um, no, it's not like somebody put a gun to my head and said, be a policewoman. I like this job. I think I have the talent for it. Mm -hmm. And as for my father, you know, he knows it's really tough, and so he just makes sure that I eat well. You work really long hours. It must put quite a strain on your social life. Yeah. It's not easy. Most of the people we meet outside are the ones we know inside. Corporal Hallam mentioned Inspector Mike. There's nothing sacred anymore. <laughs> okay, just between you and me. Is there something going on between you and him? This is off the record. Let's just say that we've been through a lot. Hey, I've been trying to reach you. You're avoiding me? How's the hand? Much better, thank you. What's wrong? You're upset about something. Not anymore. When I saw Tracy kissing you, I was so angry I wanted to. But I'm glad I didn't. I could have said a lot of things I couldn't take back. What are you talking about? I don't know. Yes, you do. You're just too stubborn. I'm not stubborn. Even ASP Pang agrees. She had a choice. And how do you know? You have a lot of prostitutes within your social circle of friends. When people are desperate, they do desperate things. I mean, men have known to gamble. Ah, men. Always men. Okay, if they have no money, they go and gamble. If they need to have sex, they go to Geelang, right? Hey, hey, you're talking to a gentleman here. Ah, is that so? I don't want to argue with you. 
I will be the judge of who needs my help and who doesn't. I really need your help. With what? There's something wrong with the plumbing in my room. The resort's fully booked. I have nowhere to stay. What a shame. Look, I really need to finish my work today, and I need a night to stay. So, I was wondering if... If you could stay with Mike? No, nothing like that. Could I share him with you? What? I'll pay for everything. No. Look, I promise to keep out of your way. I'll get another room first thing tomorrow morning. And oh no! Why don't you stay with me? And she can have your room. I have a better idea. Why don't you stay? You stay and I'll go. Wait! Who is this Tracy? She's a reporter with more than an eye for news. <laughs> she gave you trouble? <laughs> Well, that's one way of putting it. Hi, I'm Tracy Teo. Inspector Lane Tay. I heard about Elaine, you. Elaine, let's... Sorry. Yeah. He's back. I'll be right there. Sorry, I have to go. It's okay. You join me? Sure, let's go. Mike's really busy. When he knows, you'll know. That's what he keeps telling me, but... I can't wait that long. I must do something myself. When you sink your teeth into a story, you don't let it go, do you? No. Once I see something I want, I go for it. I won't let anything or anybody get in my way. No, you're not. You leave him alone. I want to get my story. He has a bomb. You take one step, make sure you never walk again. Is that a threat? Yes. Ladies, please. How dare you threaten me? Hi. What are you doing here? We're just having dinner. So many guys over here. Hi. Yanni. I love Yenny. That makes the two of us. I wanted to go to his concert, just that the tickets already sold out. How do you manage to get these? With a lot of difficulty. But some people just don't appreciate it. <laughs> what don't you think it was a good take? Huh? Mm. Huh? Hey, you're not nervous, you all try that. Oh. That was pretty good, yeah. <laughs> look at that, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you want. Not with your life. Not with Mike. What did you come here for? To talk things out? Elaine, you talk too much. You can't even make up your mind whether you want him or not. Well, I'm making it up for you. Because you are not being fair to Mike. He's only staying with you out of some misguided sense of loyalty. You think you know Mike very well, huh? Well, what do you know about him? I mean, what do you really know about him? Do you know where he goes to when he's stuck on a case? Has he ever taken you there? Or do you... Do you know that he visits the grave of his brother every month? Do you know what flowers he brings? Do you know why? Do you know any of this? Elaine, all that's in the past. How well do you know him now? You know, <laughs> The woman just doesn't know the meaning of Pat. She's still around? Fortunately, <laughs> she's left to work in Hong Kong. So I take it you don't miss her? Well, um, I miss her just about as much as I miss chicken pox. <laughs> you mind if I take a picture of you? Go ahead.
Sergeant Leung? Uh, Alan, Alan. Alan. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Elaine tells me you have a daughter. Ah, uh, yes. Cindy, she's just about to go to the U. What is she studying? Engineering. She's not going to be a policewoman? <laughs> no way. She can't stand guns. Do you guys spend enough time with her? What with your work and all? Ah, uh, well, you know, this job uh, hasn't been easy. Uh. Especially teenagers, you know, sometimes they can be so stubborn. Uh. <laughs> be careful. None of my jeans. Come on! Wilson is much better than you. Come on! Cindy, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Uh, like doing... We were studying. Well, I better be going now. Where, where's your grandma? In bed. See you, Uncle. Don't want him or any other boy to come here anymore, understand? We were discussing about the midterm exams. You can discuss with your girlfriend. I don't have any girlfriends. Then! I also had to deal with your usual teenage problems. Wrong. What's this? Oh, that's that's my friend. Your friend. Your friend asked you to keep the ashes, is it? All my friends are doing it. So what? So so it could have been worse. What? It could have been drugs. Cindy, I don't care whether it's drugs or cigarettes. You better stop this now. With this and as if that was not enough, one time she even got involved with drugs. She's the one. Someone practically identified you. You were there, right? You saw her fall. Cindy, you want to tell me here or in the interrogation room? Huh? I have nothing to say to you. Not earlier, not now. If you want to talk, we talk in there. Cindy, I'm talking to you. Do you know what ecstasy does to you or not? Yeah. Then why you take it? Are you crazy or what? Yeah. Don't get smart with me. Huh? This is all you learn from your friends, right? Huh? Drinking, smoking, drugs. Yeah. My friends were there when I need them. People who I can talk to when I... You can talk to me, Cindy! You were a single parent. It's never easy. Yeah, boy. Especially when your daughter knows how to talk back. Whoa. What are you doing with this? Did you bother to check inside? What's this? I had enough smoking, so I'm trying out mint sweets. You didn't think I was going to risk having nicotine stains on my teeth, do you? Huh? The price of this ma is a million bucks, and I like to keep it that way. Yeah, you make sure you do, huh? You make sure you don't get hooked on those, okay? Good night, Pa. You see, her mother died when she was quite young. That's the problem. But now you're getting married again. <laughs> yes, and luckily, Cindy can get along with Suchin. How did you meet her? Oh, night class. <laughs> if you missed the class last night, you must make the effort to find out what was being taught. Yes, Miss Quick. Sit down. Now, class, we'll turn to 153 and carry on from what we had left off last night on trigonometric functions. Last night's notes. Oh, thanks. Uh, no, no. Thanks. Thank you. So, who is it that paid just now? From home, is it? Uh, no, no. This is work. Oh. My, my wife died a long time ago. I have a daughter, though. I'm sorry about your wife, Ellen. So, 
<laughs> when I first met her, it was like like drinking three stouts at one shot. I was stoned, okay? <laughs> CID annual dinner and dance. And then every year I, I end up going with my daughter. <laughs> so, um, actually, I was wondering whether maybe this year perhaps you. You want to come with me? It's a holiday of dreams in reds and greens And a star that keeps shining above Christmas Eve I may not get a chance to say this again. Never mind. Are you sure? Yeah. Hey, have you done the homework that Miss Quack has given? Will you marry me? Am I lucky or what? Huh? Did you get to talk to everybody? Just a few more people. Is there anything interesting? Actually, I did. So, okay. Hey guys, what's Hi. Uh, somebody made a report that woman's doing part-time prostitution in Ang Mo Kyo. Those who were clients. Mm. Wow, she must be very popular. Mm -mm. They were not there for her services, if that's what you're thinking. Yeah. No. Apparently they go to a flat to get their feet massaged. Amongst her other talents, she is also a foot reflexologist. A foot what? You know a person who massages your feet? Clears up the pathways of your lymph nodes or something and then builds up your health. Something like that. Are you sure it works? Apparently these guys have been having back problems for months. They look fine to me. Well, that's because they had two weeks of massages already. The nodes are also unusual. So we get all kinds. Sorry. Stop. I saw that. What? Pick it up. So what? Alright, I've heard all about the good guys. Now I want to hear about the bad guys. You know, everyone wants to read about the villains, so any memorable villains in your career? Sure. You're not warm. Mm, not at all. <laughs> right, villains. Yeah, there were quite a few unforgettable ones. Don't do this. It's not the right ending for your movie. This is no way to direct film, huh? Yeah, I called him the director. Then there was this guy. We called him the butcher. He was cutting up organs and selling them. But he was not as bad as this drug dealer. Hiding drugs in babies. Not every guy we catch are as evil as this one. Most of the time, we get the lone sharks and the gangsters.
revenge won't make things right. We have this place surrounded. We've already killed one person. Stop now. There must be justice! There'll be no justice if you kill him. It won't make your head go away. Don't force me to shoot. Let go, Mr. Wee. Let him go. Sometimes the bad guys, they're not really villains. Just victims of circumstances. I want to die. <laughs> what happened? He can still see his mother, so he started to burn the flames. Don't come here! Don't be stupid. How many people do you want to kill at one time? There's a lot of pain when I found her on the floor. <laughs> I just want to be a good son. Yes, when I first started out. Back then I had a clearer picture of what a villain should be like. You know, anyone who kills, rapes, and robs, they fit a description of a criminal. But lately, I've been thinking. It's not so black and white anymore. You know, think about a kid who kills the mother to end her suffering from Alzheimer's disease. Is he the criminal? Or is the disease responsible? Or when a young man holds up a 7-Eleven store, shoots the cashier, are his parents responsible? See, if they didn't raise him up properly, are the parents the criminals? I don't know. Ah. Have you got everything? Almost. I just had to speak to you and ESP Pang, and I think I can go ahead and write. So, hey. Sergeant Leong. Uh, you want to go down first? By any chance, are you arresting that guy for killing a 60-year-old woman? Eh? How do you know? Dr. Su told me about the buttocks. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that guy, he's never wrong about anything. <laughs> so, excuse me. Yes, Pichandran, shall we go somewhere and talk? Fine. Ah, the aircon's finally fixed. You're feeling warm? A little bit. <laughs> but anyway, I've spoken to most of your guys, and I must say you have a very good team working for you. I'm lucky. Tell me, S.P. Chandran, if you had the chance to live life all over again and do something different, what would you do? Mm. I'd play the saxophone in a jazz band. Oh. That's a good question. I think I would... Uh... OK, don't laugh. I would open a shop and sell uh, T-shirts. Why? I don't know. Singapore is such a hot place, and everyone's so uptight in this rat race going on. So imagine if everyone wore T-shirts with nice smiley logos instead of uniforms and shirts. 
then maybe there'll be less stress and therefore less crime in Singapore. You think I'm naive, but who knows? Hiya. I'll probably join the police. What else can I do, right? I'll be gourmet chef. Mamma mia. I would have probably got married. I probably wouldn't have given out my piano lessons. I would have liked to be a musician, you know, um, a concert pianist or something. Why? You know the saying, music soothes the savage beast? Well, my job, Sometimes I wish I could use music to soothe the beast instead of using a bullet. Wow, tough question. Let me see, what would I do? Sell hi-fi and radios? Because I like music. There's nothing like hearing a Macarena song under a pair of both speaker. Oh, okay, come, come, take picture, take picture. Hey, no need, no need la. Please. <laughs> 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 yeah, man. All right, I want all of you to look smart. You're all going to be uncovered next month's issue. Mike, Mike, sorry. You're looking at my profile. Oh, doctors. All right, are we ready, people? Okay. Okay, thank you very much. I'll be in the office. Hey, thank you. I hope this is not gonna turn out like the way that Tracy Reporter used to write. Don't worry. Address? Okay, thanks. Hey guys, there's a shooting at Daskill Road. Let's go. Okay, go. Helen. I look forward to your article. Okay. Just another day in CID. A MediaCorp Studios production for Channel 5.